They want to get as many as people they can get under that social security so they can control that social security or control that business entity. And this is where you're created as a business entity, period, point blank. You know what I'm saying? They create it as they say, as we always say, and you can look this up, 1933. That's when they filed so-called bankruptcy, took that money away, took that money away, came around and created this so-called social security uh, act. 1935. Come on, they just, all this stuff is synonymous. That's what we got to realize. This stuff just didn't happen just because it happened. No, this was all in the making. This was all their plans in 1910 when they were sitting over there in Jekyll Island kicking back, talking real crazy, <laughs> planning on our old future. Like I keep telling people, I say, pull the cards, go see if uh, any of the Rockefellers even carry a social security number. Any of them big families, you know, the Rothschilds, go ask them if they have a social security number or insurance card. I guarantee, or not insurance card, but, you know, security, uh, social, I can't even speak it. You know, what Canada have or Europe or London over there in that, in them, in them areas. But basically, check it out, see what's going on, and I guarantee you won't find nothing. Because this is the element. We got to start looking at these so-called forefathers. What these guys was doing back in the day, they were setting up the game. Uh, Benjamin, I think Benjamin Franklin was saying, hey, if you can keep the republic, I think it was known somewhere, somewhere I read it. If you can keep the republic, if you can keep that form of government, you'd be straight. But most of the time, they knew what was up. They knew it was going to be after their lifetime, everything was going to change. And that's what's happening. Everything changed. So they start bamboozling. All of a sudden, driver's license, marriage license, IDs, any kind of license, any kind of professional license. And all you lawyers out there, y'all need to stop fronting because y'all ain't carrying no license. And you don't have to have no license to be practicing law. So if you want to practice law, cool. Each his own. But I'm not practicing law. I'm doing it. I'm in the making. So this is how we get down over here. My sovereign world. You feel me? So <laughs> these are key things. And all these issues, birth certificate, social security number, driver's license, marriage license, and every other license, fishing license, and all that other hunting license, all these licenses are taking rights, your God-given rights from you, period, point blank. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So come on, we need to start realizing that. Because when you're looking at the fine print too, they tell you these are the benefits and the privileges you have. And just think about it. Back in the day, they didn't have these issues. They did not have these issues. I can go hunt and fish and do what I wanted to do back in the day. And it was no ends. Nobody's talking about regulations. I can't build this because I got this big tall house or whatever the case may be. Long as you ain't hurt nobody, killing nobody, stealing up somebody's property. Come on, people. We got to get it in the head. We got to keep it going. We got to keep it real. And like I said, what is the straw man? The straw man is literally an agency. A literally, the straw man is that employee of that agency. Let me rephrase it like that. It's an employee. So you're a public office. You are a public officer in general. That's what they have created with that birth certificate or with the social security number. That's what they created with that. The birth certificate is a totally different. That's just saying, well, here's an entity born. Boom. Somebody was born on such and such day. Boom. You know, that really don't have no jurisdiction, really. But at the same time, why not give it back to them? <laughs> you know, give them back all that stuff. They can have it. It ain't yours. You don't need it. It's all theirs. Look at the Social Security number. Look at the card behind the card to tell them, you know, this is a uh, Social Security Administration own this card, not you. If you find it, lose it. Send it back to Social Security Administration, period, point blank. Matter of fact, all the documents state that if you really want to get down with it. You just got to look at the, like I said, you got to look at the, the fine print. That's the coldest thing. That's why, they, that's why they print everything so small so you cannot read it. You know, that's the whole goal. Look at your credit card. Really see what it say and really pay attention to what's going on. So I'm kind of going off, not really going off subject. I'm kind of moving kind of quick because I'm trying to get this done in a little 15 minutes, but I don't think that might be happening. <laughs> So I'm going to go to the next file. Who are you? Really, who are you? Are you that public office? Do you want to um, do you want to keep that public office? Most of the time that I'm hearing out, especially in the sovereign community, everybody want to keep that straw man. Everybody want to control that straw man. Hey, it ain't about controlling that straw man. See, the difference with uh, what Rockefeller was talking about. Yeah, I don't own nothing. I control everything. See, we got to realize he didn't own nothing because he didn't have no social security number. <laughs> So you didn't have to connect nothing to him. You see what I'm saying? Just build a trust, a private trust, and this is how I'm running it. Boom. 
You know what I'm saying? All private. Everything's in private. And hey, let's put it real. Let's get them real because I don't think people are comprehending this. The Federal Reserve System is separate from the U.S. government. So come on, people, let's get these things. These are private entities. These are private entities. These are private corporations. And when they're private corporations, they're doing their thing. Don't take me wrong. But we got to start paying attention to what's really out there and available out there. And I got things popping up on the screen. But at the same time, let y'all know what's going on. Are you an employee of the federal government known as the U.S. corporation? Ask yourself that 24-7. You're wondering why they're putting all these rules and regulations and laws. Oh, you can't talk on your cell phone. You can't do this. You can't do that. I thought your cell phone, you own your cell phone. Think about that. You paid your cash, so-called cash for it, you know, so you can't even use it in, the, in your own so-called vehicle. But, oh, I forgot. They own the vehicle. Hmm. All you're doing is maintenance. All you're doing is taking care. Put some gas in it, you know. Go look at it. Go in the back and see what you got. Do you got a license plate sitting on the back of that car? Say U.S. citizen? <laughs> Look at that driver's license. All these things make you commerce. All these things make you a piece of their... They're always talking about who's buying and selling. You are that commodity. As long as you're driving in that car, driving, commercial aspect, you are that commercial remedy. That's why these so-called police officers are stopping their channel or stopping their their product. They're checking out their product. Let me see what you're doing. Let me, how you rolling? Hey, can I, hey, you got any proof of driver's license? Let me see your driver's license insurance, please. You know, so they doing their thing. They checking out their channel, checking out who they own, what they got, how many people, and they always assuming, assuming and presuming. So these are things we got to start identifying and getting back our God-given rights. That's basically what we're doing. So why do you give up your God-given rights? For some privileges and benefits. Think about that. Privileges and benefits. And go check my papers. Please, people. Please check my papers. Go. I, I, I love for the gurus to even start talking about me. Just go, go on. I, no ego here. There's no ego here. But just go on. Why are you not doing your homework? Please, people. Do your homework. Because eventually you'll come to these conclusions that there is no such thing. There is really no such thing as controlling your straw man, period, and actually being successful in these courthouses. Because basically when you trying to control your straw man, you're literally in their federal jurisdiction. You're allowing the District of Columbia to control you, period. The, oh, so I use zip codes. I use this. I use that. Yeah, so you're in their system, period. So that's how we got to look at it. And you can check this. All this stuff is written. It's right in front of our faces 24-7, seven, seven days a week. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, if you start doing your homework, read it for yourself. That's the problem. People are not reading it for themselves. They're taking these gurus' ideas, talking about $350,000 for some, uh, for what your, or billion dollars. I'm sorry, billions. I'm sorry. Your so-called, uh, Birth certificate is work. We haven't seen that yet. I haven't ran across that yet. And I've been doing intensive research here, man, especially with my sovereign world. Like I said, we're up here. We're not just straying you away. We're not giving you no kind of BS. You know what I'm saying? This is straight to the point, letting y'all know what's really out here, what's really going on. Your jurisdiction is your law, your private law. You are the law. Nothing else is ahead of you. The only hit is ahead of you is your creator. That's it. You was given. You're a steward of this land, period. You know what I'm saying? So you got to act like it. You got to act accordingly. That's why these cops, why can't we just come together? You know, even if it's just 5,000 of us, 5,000 in each hood. Look, 5,000 in each area of the land of so-called the geographic area, wherever you at. Get 5,000 people and you go up to the courthouse and you sit down there and we got our own food. We can produce our own thing for a couple of weeks. We can survive. You know what I'm saying? We got all the tools we need. We got all the money we need. We got all the doctors. We got everybody in place right now where we can actually take over this government, period, and take back what's ours. I don't care. That's that's the world in general. You know what I'm saying? How you letting a elite, so-called elite of people take we, we're giving them every resource in the book. We're giving them every resource in the book. Then they're making it fair seeming, as they would say in the so-called Bible, making everything fair seeming. The devil make everything fair seeming. Come on, peep that, people. You know, everything is so beautiful and nice. We go watch that reality TV. It's all script for you. Get you to think this, get you to think that. 
you know, turn your TVs off. Like the brothers are saying, uh, dead prayers. They say, turn your radios off. Yeah, turn your TVs off. TVs and radios and start using them more constructively. Use them more constructively. Put, go, go. I mean, you can use YouTube. You can use YouTube and find documentaries of, of just knowledge, of just history, of just law. You know what I'm saying? It's all there. But, hey, it's all love here. That's all it is. It's all love. But that's the whole point here, what we give it. It's all love. So let me pull up this. One more page. If you value some of these sources, go check out some of these sources. This is where you can start finding some things. You know what I'm saying? Just start looking at these codes. Uniform Commercial Code, Haru's Critical Thinking. You can always hit us up at the, you know, My Sovereign Word. You know how to get to us, y'all. You got to do is put Haru's name up in there, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? All the, <laughs> all the things, you know, don't give up your house com. You know what I'm saying? Where we're helping foreclosures, getting it cracking. And this is for all you guys out there claiming that, Okay, Haru out here making money and it's all about money. It's not all about money, man. It's all about helping my fellow man, period, point blank. I don't care what you think, what you say, because a lot of these gurus out here taking your money and literally taking your money and you going away with nothing, period. And you going away, you just going in circles. They just got you going in circles, period. Eating your own tail, that's the problem. You know that metaphor they got with the snake? Come on, eating your own tail, a dog, whatever it want to be. But at the same time, each his own, handle your business, stay safe, stay strong, you know what I'm saying? One thing about it, all peace, love, and happiness to you all. Hotep, we out.